Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us begin this Holy Mass by acknowledging our sins, by asking God's forgiveness, and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, 
what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole Church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them, the apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number, who went out without any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings, and disturb your peace of mind. We have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so, they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted among the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Please stand. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel today, we heard the sweet and flattering words of Jesus. He tells us, You are my friends. Tayo'y mga kaibigan ni Jesus. But Jesus did not stop there. Jesus did not simply say, You are my friends. There is a condition to our friendship with Jesus. And what is this condition? Jesus said, You are my friends if you do what I command you. Kayo'y mga kaibigan ko, kung tinutupad ninyo ang utos ko. It is, my dear brothers and sisters, our obedience to the, to the command of Jesus that make us His friends. And this is what we see in our first reading today. For the past days until today, our first reading talks about the discussion among the early Jewish Christians on how they should deal with Gentile converts. And after much prayer and discussion, they decided that the Gentile converts who are not Jews must not be required to abide by the Jewish laws and traditions. The faith of the Gentile converts is enough for them to be considered as members of the church. It is their following the command of Jesus that makes them part of the body of Christ. It is their obedience to the will of God and not to any human law that, make, that makes these converts friends of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, we are all familiar with the famous saying, birds of the same feather flock together. This means that people that have common interests, common characteristics, and common qualities tend to come together. They tend to become friends. Kapag pare-pareho kayo ng interes, tiyak, magkakasundo kayo at magiging magkakaibigan. Kung pare-pareho kayo ng hobby, magiging magkaibigan kayo. Kapag pare-pareho kayo ng sports, magiging magkaibigan kayo. Kung pare-pareho kayo ng pinaniniwalaan at prinsipyo sa buhay, nagkakasundo ang inyong mga opinion, 
malamang magiging magkakaibigan kayo. Kung pare-pareho kayo ng ugali, malamang magkakasundo kayo. At ito ang nakalipas na eleksyon, kahit hanggang sa ngayon, kahit na maraming nag-unfriend, maraming nag-block, pero marami rin namang naging magkakaibigan dahil sa pare-parehong kandidatong sinusuportahan. Birds of the same feather flock together. But in our faith, the basis of our friendship is only one, and that is our obedience to the command of Jesus. Sa ating pagsunod sa kalooban ni Jesus, yan ang nagbubuklod sa atin bilang magkakaibigan. The basis, therefore, of true friendship is obedience to the will of God. At ang tunay na kaibigan ay yung tumutulong sa iyo na sumunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Your true friend is the one who helps you, who supports you, and encourages you to obey and follow the will of God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us today, You are my friends if you do what I command you. We are friends if we all do what Jesus commands us. It is our obedience to the will of God that makes us friends. That and only that is the feather that should bind us together. Please stand. Christ calls us his friends and commands us to follow, to love one another. Let us show that love by the sincerity of our prayers. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called to preach the gospel in any way may proclaim the good news of God's love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That political leaders may fear God and do what is in accord with the words of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That married couples may take to heart our Lord's command to love one another, even in the most trying situations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may find love and those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers, and we pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, hear our prayers and let your love grow in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Rita Herr.